chapter 12. Uh, chapter 12 has to do with investment. So lesson 12.1 is going to be a certificate of deposit. Uh, the certificate of deposit is like when you have a, a certain amount of money that you want to keep in a bank, for example, for a period of time. It could go from months to years, by the way. Um, we're going to be using the same equation like before. We can use the same, uh, this one here, which is A equals P to uh, times 1 plus R to the power of N. Remember, R here represents the, the compounding period. For example, if you're compounded by 12, if you go over 12 months, so you're going to divide by 12. So look at this one here. This this question talks about compounding on a monthly basis. So that's why we had to divide divide percentage over 12. And the power here is going to be, since it's only one year, so it's going to be for 12 months. That's what we've been doing for a while, by the way. You know, we did this before in other, other sections. Now, the next section is going to go and talk about the annual percentage yield. Now, we have two different kind of percentages, by the way. There's an annual percentage yield and there's an, an, an annual percentage. There's a difference here is the yield, by the way. The yield is really how much you earned, you know, exactly how much you earned. So we need to be able to find out the percentage first, that the amount of the money that you earn, and then we're going to be, you know, using it to find the actual yield. This is not going to be, we're going to do it in class, by the way. This is less, less sort of idea what we're going to be doing. So the next section it's more interesting. So we're, we're buying stocks here. The stocks, how are we going to buy it stocks? So we have uh, uh, the price of it uh, on, a, on, on a, you know, a regular basis. For example, if you open the stock market uh, on a daily basis, you'll see the prices goes up and down. So you have to bet you bought a, bought a price for it. And then if, if uh, you get lucky and you get the price that you asked, you're going to own that stock. Now, after you own it, you have the right to sell it. So you could keep it or you could sell it. Uh, here, they're showing us that somebody is buying 100 shares of stocks. Uh, each one of them is $106.30. So how much he needs to pay? He needs to pay like $10,000 for it. Now, remember, uh, companies, when they when they do buy your stock and sell your stocks, um, uh, they need to charge you a commission fee. So on top of what you're paying for the, the price of the stock, you're still going to pay a commission. Here, this company is charging $15.95 commission for 100 uh, shares that you bought. Um, there's more details on this one. Later on, we'll, we'll talk about the details, especially when it comes to selling. When we do the selling, the selling is more interesting because it has more things in it. So when we here, for example, it's 12.4, selling the stocks. Now we need to see how, how if we sell. Did we make money? Did we lose money? So this is interesting. Um, also, this commission, by the way, when, when you sell a stock, you still need to pay. So, for example, here um, uh, we sold uh, our 75 shares of stocks for $51. Uh, and then we need to subtract uh, the commission that they're going to they charge us commission for, for selling the stocks for us. So, at the end, we made 3800 And we bought it for 3700 That's from the section before. So, we made actually profit of $84 after we sold. So, this is interesting to be done in school together and when we do it uh, we'll, we'll share ideas and informations between us so and that's it so later on we'll talk about the other sections okay bye bye